guys in today's video we'll be taking a look at the unboxing of the anchor wireless charger so recently one of my samsung chargers broke down and i couldn't charge my phone so i was searching on the market for samsung chargers and i also came across something very cheap and more effective and i came across this i found this anchor wireless charger for less than ten dollars on amazon i'll be providing you the link in the description so this is called the anchor wireless charger power wave pad so let's start unboxing it and let's see the effectiveness of this charger. Alright, so upon opening the box, we see an instruction manual, which is given. Also, we see a USB charger. So unfortunately, with the product, they don't give you the wall adapter. So I'm going to be using the wall adapter, which I have in my Samsung charger, because I think one of the problems which I faced in my Samsung charger is I think the USB cable something went loose. So I'm going to be using this. Alright, so right now, opening the wireless charging unit itself, really like the packing. So this is the wireless charging unit itself. I'm gonna show you it in a little bit of more close up. So that's the wireless charging unit. And then we have over here, if you can see over here, here is where the USB cable is gonna connect in. It has really good finish on the edges. I usually buy Anchor products because most of their power banks and chargers are really effective in charging. I've had a person ex very good personal experience with the power bank which I use for charging my Samsung and it has done really well. I really hope the wireless charging unit also performs the same. Alright, so right now we're going to see the different colors which is going to be emitted from this LED which we find on the wireless charging device. So the very first color which you're going to be seeing over here is a flashing blue. If it's a flashing blue, it basically means that some kind of metal is obstructing the chip phone from being charged uh, using the device. Then we have the flashing green, which basically means there's some kind of incompatible AC adapter or cable being connected to the device. And then we have a solid blue, which we just saw, which means there are, so when I'm basically removing this power cable, and then I'm putting it back in, it's blue, and then it turns off. It basically means that it's connected to a proper standard power source. And then when I'm going to put my device on, you're going to see a solid blue. So if there's a solid blue, it basically means that the phone is charging and you also heard the beep. So that indicates that the phone is actively charging using the wireless charger. So now let's take a look at the standard test, which we're going to do to see which charger is performing better. We're going to be doing a test between the Anchor wireless charger over here and then we're going to be doing a test using the Samsung standard wireless charger which is also a fast charger to see which charges more better. Stay tuned. Alright, so taking a closer look at the charging pad, I connected it to power and then I'm going to show you this LED dot over here. Let's see what happens. 
So that's a solid blue and then it turns off for three seconds. It basically indicates that it's connected to a power source. All right, so right now I'm gonna take a look at the LED indicator when I put my phone on. When my phone is not on it, you can basically see that the LED indicator is not doing anything. So it means that there's no device on it. So I'm gonna place this on. So you can see over there, and also a, a beep sound from my phone, which basically indicates that the phone is charging. And also you can see the blue light being solid blue, which basically sees that there's a device on it and it's basically charging. So that is the use of the LED indicator being provided on the wireless charger. So right now we're gonna see and test whether using an iPhone with a case thickness of about three to four mm. So let's find out. So this is the case which I use for my iPhone 8 Plus. I have an iPhone 8 Plus. The thickness of the case is really thick compared to my Samsung. And I'm gonna put it on my charging wireless charger let's see if it charges and yes it does it basically charges you can see the indication on my phone which shows that it's charging and also on the wireless charger you see the blue light being indica indicating which is a solid blue which indicates that the device is charging so yes it does do a very good amount of charging even if the thickness is around like 2 to 3 mm which is really really good so now let's get on to the part where we're going to test how fast the Samsung charger is able to charge and it's a Samsung fast charger and also the Anchor wireless charger how fast it's charging. So let's test it out. Okay so for this test we're going to be measuring the charging efficiency between two different chargers. So right now we're going to be using the Anchor wireless charger and then we're going to be using the standard fast adapter charger from Samsung. So I'll be charging my Samsung phone using the Anchor wireless charger for a duration of 5 minutes. Also, then I'll be doing the same charging for a duration of 5 minutes using the Samsung charger. So right now, let's start charging the Samsung phone using the Anchor wireless charger and let's see how fast the charge increases. So right now, I have my charge at around 64%. I'm going to do a timer for 5 minutes and let's see how fast it charges. So it started and I'm going to start 3, 2, 1. So let's start. We started it. So let's see in the end of 5 minutes what basically happens. So it's almost about to end. Okay, so right now we have 5 minutes and the amount of charge which increased was by 3%. We have 66, we started at 63 and we are finishing at 66. So this is the amount of charging which the wireless charger did. Now let's change it now to the Samsung fast adapter charging and check the charging efficiency. So right now I'm going to be doing the cable charging and then we're going to do the timer and then we're going to basically start so let's see at the end of five minutes how much this charge is going up so right now we are at 66% doing it with the standard Samsung charger which is a fast adapter charger and we're going to measure the charging efficiency at the end of 5 minutes so stay tuned so right now it's going to stop and the amount of charge which has increased So the amount of charge, I'm going to check the charge, it's at 71%, we started at 66% and it all went all the way up to 71%. So the conclusion, I cannot draw a big conclusion over here, but then just by this test we can see that the Samsung fast adaptive charging is more faster than the Anchor wireless charging. So right now I'm going to be doing this 
with the uh, iPhone 8 Plus and then we're going to see which charges more faster. So right now we're going to be doing the char wireless charging test for the iPhone 8 Plus. I have my iPhone 8 Plus over there and I have the charge of about 60%. So we're going to be doing a charging test for 5 minutes and then we're going to see the end of, at the end of 5 minutes what charge it is. So right now we had 60% and 3, 2, 1, start. So at the end of 5 minutes we're going to see how fast the wireless charger is able to charge the iPhone 8 Plus. So right now we're coming to the end of the test. So it's 5 minutes and if you can see the charge is 63%. We started at 60% so we have 3% increase in charge. So right now I'm going to be using the standard iPhone charger and we're going to mention the charging efficiency from 63%. So right now I've connected it to the standard iPhone charger and then I'm going to reset this and then we're going to start the timer again so it's going to be at 63 percent let's see how fast it charges from 63 percent for a duration of five minutes so starting in three two one so let's see at the end of five minutes how much the standard charger has charged the phone so right now we're going to coming to the end of it and we stop Right, so the charge which has gained up is around 66%. So we started at 63 and we ended up at 66, which is about the same 3%. We can't draw any more any conclusions from this test, but from this five minute duration, we're able to conclude that uh, both the wireless charging and the standard iPhone or the Sam standard Samsung charger has the same charging efficiency. So the wireless charging doesn't provide any fast charging boost. So if you want to draw any more clarifications what kind of wall charger I used I used a 9 volt 2 amp anchor charger I can show you the so this is the charging pad which I used for the test and I used the anchor quick charge 3.0 it says 9 volt to 2 amps so I connected the USB of the wireless charging pad in over here and then we did this test alright so now let's take a look at the wall adapters for the anchor wireless charger so never use a iPhone wall adapter which gives you an output of 5 volt 1 amp for this particular charging pad so the two wall adapters which you can use for this anchor wireless charger are the 5 volt 2 amp uh, Samsung adapter fast charging charger and the 9 volt 2 amp anchor uh, IQ quick charge uh, wall adapter so I'm going to be providing the links of both the 5 volt 2 amp wall adapter also the 9 volt 2 amp uh, wall adapter so always do use these two uh, ones which are given by the green tick mark never use the iPhone charger for this particular purpose Okay guys, so right now we're looking at the compatible devices which are suitable for the Anchor wireless charging. I tried during the test the Samsung Note 8, it still works. I tried the iPhone 8 Plus, it works. I haven't tried any 5 watt standard charging modes for any devices because I don't have the AirPods and the AirPods Pro. But then looking at the list which is provided by the uh, manufacturer description, it states that it can be used for all the devices listed in this uh, photograph. So I would say that you can use, but I haven't tried using it myself. The Samsung does well, it has no heating issues. I've tried it with iPhone, it has no heating issues. I've tried it with cases which have like thickness of one millimeter to five millimeter. I have no issues at all. But then I'm not very sure about the other devices. So I should say it's a, it's a safe guess because Anchor is a very good uh, brand and it has done well over the past. So that should be it. So we're going to be looking at the working of the wireless charger. So when we place a phone on the wireless charging pad, the phone starts automatically charging. Well, apparently this is not working by magic. This is working on the principle called inductive coupling and electromagnetic induction. So what do you mean by inductive coupling? Inductive coupling is nothing but mutual induction taking place 
between two coils placed close to each other. So when we say two coils, it basically means the primary winding coil and the secondary winding coil, which is seen in the diagram. So we have two circuits, one circuit placed inside the wireless charging pair, which consists of a high speed switching circuit and then we have the primary winding and then we have the secondary winding, the rectifier, voltage regulator and the load which is nothing but the phone's battery situated inside the phone. So the two principles which you saw was first was inductive coupling which was nothing but mutual induction taking place between two coils placed close to each other and then we have the electromagnetic induction taking place when a circuit carrying alternating current which is nothing but the primary winding circuit generates an alternating current in the, another, in the secondary winding of the second circuit and then we have another principle which says that when any time electric current flows through a wire it creates a circular magnetic field around the wire so in this case we have the primary winding kind of bent into a coil so the more amount of loops the coil makes the more bigger the magnetic field will be so it's basically kind of amplifying the magnetic field so when the current from the AC source flows through the first circuit which is nothing but the wireless charging pad it has the it flows to the primary winding which creates a magnetic field and this magnetic field interacts with the secondary winding and then it induces electrical current inside the secondary winding which is nothing but the receiver coil at the back of the phone and then this current passes through a series of rectifying stages this is done making basically sure that it has the correct voltage going to the phone which is nothing but 5 volt and then the current amount of amperes which is flowing into the uh, battery because you don't want to over damage or you don't you don't want to over uh, power the battery and uh, damage it. So by this whole circuitry wireless charging works and it's a very simple principle using two coils and then inducing electrical current from one coil into another coil. Alright so the thing which I'm doing right now is I'm basically monitoring the temperature at the back of the phone. So I'm just going to check the temperature at the back of the phone before I'm wireless charging which I'm doing right now and after wireless charging so if the temperature at the back of the phone after wireless charging is somewhere above 45 degrees celsius then i would say that the fast wireless charging is not safe and it can cause complications worse complications can probably in include like damaging the battery or also cause an explosion in worst cases so right now the temperature is around 28.7 degrees if i see the temperature around like 30 to 39 because during fast charging the phone can get heated up that's a normal thing but if it exceeds a particular temperature then it's going to be an issue so I'm just I just want to check that out and make sure it's safe all right okay so right now I'm just going to take my phone and I'm just going to see the temperature at the back just to make sure that we don't have any kind of increased temperature during the charging process So I would say the temperature is completely around like 36 degrees Celsius, which is good. So during the fast charging process, the phone doesn't heat up. So this is this wireless charging is really good. I have the temperature of right around 35 to 36 degrees Celsius.